Buenos gamdias. That's sure to offend somebody. Gamdias sent me something pretty shocking. This is the Zeus P1 RGB optical gaming mouse, a bold device with strong branding. But we'll soon see if it lives up to the name. If. If is good. The 125 gram mouse sports eight buttons in total, seven of which are programmable, featuring some pretty awesome switches. The standard left, right, and middle click, three buttons around the top, those being DPI up, down, and cycle by default, and two thumb buttons. Why are they awesome? They're sturdy, they give a real good kickback, and they sound like this. The sensor's DPI has six available steps, which can be brought to as low as 400 or as high as 12,800 when you want to be as quick as lightning. Their website says 12,000, but the software says otherwise, so... You've got some pretty snazzy lighting, as you should, with one fluid RGB curve around the top and a second RGB curve around the bottom. I always kind of pictured Zeus to be built and chiseled like a rock, but I guess manly Greek gods can have curves too. You've got rubber finger grips on either side of the mouse, and lastly, you'll find the GamDS logo around the mouse's butt, which also happens to say Zeus. I used this mouse for like a full week before I noticed the logo. <laughs> Flipping the unit over, we see three Teflon feet, and finally, we get to the 1.8 meter braided cable with included Velcro strap. Part of me really wishes this was a lightning cable, just to fit the name. Of course, the mouse will function perfectly fine out of the box, but if you want to do anything more than the simplest of tasks, you'll have to consult the wife. Or the sister? The Hera software is perhaps a little flashy, but still functional. Opening her up, you've got access to five profiles, each of which can be associated with a program or swapped via a hotkey. You can record keyboard actions and delays, then manually enter mouse actions and more delays after the fact. Those macros can then be assigned to any of the buttons on the mouse except for the left click. After that, you can control things like mouse acceleration, scroll and double click speed, DPI steps, and polling rate. As for RGB, you can set it to a static color. It's a bad electricity joke, but I had absolutely nothing better than that. Next, you can individually address each of the 13 curvy LEDs within the mouse and set them to either solid or breathing. And then you've got a list of other effects, including breathing, neon, circular wave, responsive fade-in, and parallel wave. Moving beyond Zeus's lightning side, we have his thunder. You can bind sound clips to certain buttons that can either activate immediately or on a timer that can be displayed on screen. You get five sounds by default. But if you find them to be a little too dramatic, you can import your own if you so choose. It's not a feature I've ever used personally, but it's there if you want it. While using the mouse, I really couldn't tell the difference between its sensor and the Logitech G502, my daily driver. A plus there. Zeus's body, however, is not really for me. I'm not body shaming, I just have my preferences, okay? Similar to the last mouse I reviewed, the Valva Chroma, the mouse's highest point is closer to the fingers or knuckles, and unfortunately, Zeus's booty doesn't quite satisfy my palm. To Zeus's credit, it's not as exaggerated as the Volvo Chroma, and I don't notice it as easily in this case. Plus, comfort and mouse shape is almost purely preference, so this may actually be a good thing for you. Additionally, I found that the switches feel a little heavier than almost all of the other mice switches I've ever used, which to me is a plus. I have a fat hand. I mean, it's a medium-sized hand, but it's a heavy hand, and I often suffer from premature misfires depending on my posture and how I'm holding my member. Not once did I encounter this issue using this mouse. Something that may or may not tilt some of you are the golden icons on the mouse's body. RGB products are best served color neutral, but the gold is subtle enough so that it personally doesn't bother me. As for some things regarding Zeus that I found to be a little more revolting, the RGB logo isn't really customizable. The color changes for each of the DPI steps from lowest to highest, starting from red, orange, green, light blue, blue, and pink respectively. While you can adjust the DPI, those steps are locked in that order. If you only use one DPI setting, you should be fine as long as you like one of those colors. If you're looking for a rainbow kind of thing or you use several DPI steps, you may have a harder time color coordinating. 
though if that's an issue, you can always turn it off. On the subject of LEDs, they're not that bright. The logo zone definitely pops, but the underglow and curve aren't quite as strong. Hera, on the other hand, is pretty hot, but she does introduce a single struggle. You can copy, cut, paste, and delete actions, but unfortunately, you can't select multiple line items at once. It's not a huge problem, but that kind of feature is always something I appreciate in macro software. My very last, very small issue was the rubber finger grip. Notice I say was. When I first started using the mouse, the grip kind of gripped back, meaning that when I moved my hand off, the mouse would follow for a bit. However, when I go back to try to recreate the problem, it doesn't seem to stick. Perhaps it just needed some breaking in, or perhaps Zeus isn't as attached to me as he once was. <laughs> Why don't you look at me during? When I first received the mouse, I didn't look up pricing. I just meandered over to GameDS's website for the basic specs and started playing around. I legitimately thought I was handling a 50-ish US dollar peripheral. Upon scripting this video, I found the mouse on Amazon for around 32 US dollars instead. You could say that Zeus shocked me. So while it's not perfect for me, this mouse is still formidable, as the name might imply. Next time you get into an internet scuffle with some titanic goober who thinks he knows more than you, and he asks, where is your god now? You can say, right here. And so that's all I have to say about that. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, leave me questions if you've got them. Thanks for watching. My name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. If. If is good. What? I always kind of pictured Zeus to be like this built and chiseled kind of rock man. That doesn't, that didn't come out right at all. I always kind of pictured Zeus to be built and chiseled like a, my shirt was messed up. Flipping the unit over, we get, uh, no. <laughs> As for RGB, you can set it to a static, oh, weh, <laughs> really bad pun that caught me off guard. Next, you can individually address each of the 13 curvy LEDs with the uh, within the mouse. And then you've got a list of other effects, including breathing, neon, circular, ri circular way, moving beyond Zeus's lightning, Table side that oh that doesn't look like table at all. I need glasses. <laughs> Moving beyond Zeus's lightning side, lighting side, lightning side. That one. You can bind sound clips to certain buttons that can either activate immediately on a. Eh? Similar to the last mouse I reviewed. Ma la moused, moused. Similar to the last mouse I review. D. Yes. <laughs> Similar to the last mouse I. Re the Zeus's booty doesn't quite satisfy my palm. I definitely don't want to say it like that. That doesn't. That sounds weird. I've devolved into ass grabbing jokes, but it's not even like real ass, so I have nothing to be proud of. It's a medium-sized hand, but it's it's a heavy hand, and I offer soften for su soften. <sighs> my very last, very small issue was uh, the rubber. <laughs> the rubber. <laughs> Why don't you look at me dirty? Oh God, that's gonna sound stupid on camera. <laughs> Uh, whatever, I'll keep it.